If you often create a lot of presentations using different types of animation files, sounds, and videos, then just copying the presentation file to a USB or CD drive will not automatically place and link all the corresponding animation, sound and videos files. So, when you will try to play them on a different device using the same USB or CD drive, you will find out that all the linked files are missing. With PowerPoint 2003, Microsoft had introduced a new feature called, Packages for CD. Packages for CD simplifies moving and updating all linked files together with your presentation. You can either create packages for CD, or can copy to a folder. Not only that, when you create packages for CD, the PowerPoint viewer is automatically included in the package, so if you play your presentation on a computer, not having PowerPoint installed, the PowerPoint viewer will still play your presentation. To create packages for CD in PowerPoint 2016, open your presentation and then click the file menu, and then click export. From the export menu, choose package presentation for CD, and then click package for CD. You will be asked to enter a label for disk. Type an appropriate name, and you can also add or remove other presentation files to the same disk, by clicking on add or remove buttons. If you click the options button, you can see that by default, linked files and embedded true type fonts are checked. That means, while creating the presentation, PowerPoint will automatically include all the linked animation, sound or video files, and will also include any true type custom fonts that you may have installed and used in your presentation, so the formatting of your presentation may not change. You can also set open and modify passwords, if you wish. If you want to burn your presentations directly to a disk, then you can click copy to CD. If you are using Windows XP or greater version, then PowerPoint will use the Windows inbuilt CD burning feature. If you want to copy your packages to a USB drive, or you don't have a CD, DVD writer, then you can choose copy to folder. When you click copy to folder, then you will be asked to type a folder name, and choose the location where you want to save the package. Type a name and choose the location, and then click OK. PowerPoint will then start creating a complete presentation package. Once PowerPoint finish creating the presentation, you can browse to particular folder, and here you can see your presentation files along with other linked files, and PowerPoint viewer, 